Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and today I got a really cool project for you guys. We are going to be building ourselves a DIY motorized Wi Fi enabled camera slider. So let's get started. So if you guys noticed, I've been trying to upgrade my studio a bit, moving my desk around, adding that shelf behind me. One of which, when you start getting into videography and product reviews and stuff like that, you really want those buttery, smooth panning shots with your camera. So I've been looking for a camera slider for our DSLR for the past two months. And it, I couldn't find anything for under $200. And that's the problem. I'm like, I, I, I understand why it's so expensive for the higher end ones. You basically could beat it around. You travel with it and stuff like that. But I don't, I'm not really using it for that purpose. So I decided to build my own. I'm like, how hard can it be? First, let's look at the parts that we need to make a motorized camera. One, we need a motor and some sort of belt to drive the whole thing. Uh, we need some rails. Uh, I ended up picking some up from Lowe's. Uh, we need a frame to put everything together. And then we need a controller board to control everything basically and some bearings to make everything smooth. Now I'm going to leave all the links in the description below on what parts I use specifically. You could interchange it. You might not want to use the same stepper motor I used. It's up to you. So I left all my parts that I used in the description below. Now that we have all the parts, we just need to assemble everything. The frame is designed using some CAD software and then I use my 3D printer to print out the parts. I'm going to leave all that in Thingiverse. So I'll leave a link in the description below for that. And then uh, the rails, like I said, I got from Lowe's. The first thing I did was install the stepper motor to the frame itself. Then I added the rails and then I installed the dolly with the bearings and then I closed the other end. Now I left a little leeway because that's going to be my tension at the end. I'm not going to go through the entire wiring process, but I will have everything on my website. So it's easier to follow with the diagrams and which wires go with what. Now that everything's assembled, we just have to upload the code and the code will be on GitHub. And if you guys want to upgrade, change or modify the code in every in any way you can. Uh, if you want to submit some bug reports and stuff like that, I will accept them depending on what they are. So it's going to be on GitHub again, link in the description below. Once we have the code uploaded to our board, it's basically acting as an access point so we could connect to it. So once you connect to it, I called it slider. You can change it to whatever name you want. You have to go to 192.168.4.1 and you'll be presented with a super, super easy interface, basically just four buttons. And it has normal, slow, slower, slowest, and that's basically the speed of it. To start, to start the slider, because I do not have any end stops, you have to have the dolly next to the stepper motor because that's point zero basically. That's the, 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 the starting point. Once everything's there, you could click on whatever speed you want and it'll travel to the other side. Once it hits the other side, it'll come back when you hit the speed again. Now that everything's all assembled and working, I'm gonna show you a couple of shots that I just took in my backyard somewhere. So guys, thanks for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please hit that like button. I recently just updated my website, so I have all cool projects that I'm gonna start uploading to there too. Some that might not even make it to YouTube, so check that website out. Hit that little notification for the website so you can get updates on when I post new stuff. And if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hit that bell notification so you know when the next video is gonna be out. And as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.